what great, great expectation, what great hope. And Lord, what great joy to know that the King is coming. Lord, we believe His coming. His coming is nearer than we can ever imagine. And that is why in anticipation we look forward to hear the sound of the trumpet. Oh God, Him right is I can hear the trumpet sounding. Oh God, what a day it's going to be when that marching throng, when the church of Jesus Christ, we shall gather together as one and we shall worship you as King of kings and Lord of lords. Then Lord, it will be the time when all true worshipers, not just, to, just those who come to church, not just those who call and say they are Christians, but the true worshipers, those who have been washed in the blood of the Lamb, those who have their names written in the Lamb's book of life, those, oh God, who did not take the mark of the beast, those, oh God, who have made themselves ready for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and thank God we must be ready for that occasion. We ask that you'll bless your people today. We pray that you'll draw us closer to you today. If ever a time we need the Lord, surely we need him now. If ever a moment we need a, a closer walk, surely it is now. And so we pray that you'll minister to our hearts today. We pray that you'll bless us as a church. Lord, our one aim, our one desire is to see Jesus someday. Lord, it will be worth it all when we see Jesus. One glimpse of his dear face, our sorrow will erase so we can bravely run that race until we meet and see the Lord. Bless our gathering today. Meet the needs of your people. We pray for those who are online. They might be in the kitchen. They might be in their beds. They might be in the gallery. Some of them might just be watching, uh, turn on the television set and and going to this uh, uh, um, channel that they can see us. We pray in Jesus' name uh, that God will bless them. And we pray that somehow that they might have church in their homes this morning. They might have church in their lives. Uh, and for those who might be discouraged, feeling deflated, uh, feeling as if no one care, help them to know Jesus. You love them and you care. And God, you're going to see them through. Bless our congregation today. Meet every need. Bless your people. Wherever they are from, we pray that your presence might be so near. And they might know that God is able. Strengthen our people again. Take time to pray for Sister Isaac. We pray you'll strengthen her. And even as she would lay to rest her dad in the next few days, grant them hope and encouragement. And Lord, may they know that God has not given up on them. And God, you have a blessing, a great blessing even for them. Continue to have your divine way. Bless all our churches. Bless our district. We pray for those in St. Kitts. We pray you'll protect them today. And we pray that you'll be with them. And, and we have heard our churches gather. We pray that God, you will be glorified today. Have your divine way. And we give you praise, glory, and honor. Because you alone are worthy. And the church of Jesus Christ say, Amen. Amen. Say it again. Amen. Amen.